Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip will cover two areas, non-smoking policies and lease addendums and lease attachments. We have received a letter from a manager who really confused me at first. It reads, we had removed our non-smoking policy from our residence files because the approval had not been granted by HUD due to an MOR finding. Well, do you have an email or office address to HUD for us to send our no smoking policy to them for approval. My response at first was, what is she talking about? Well, I had to do a little investigation on this one because I didn't understand why she said she wanted HUD to approve her no smoking policy. HUD doesn't approve those. So I called to see what the problem really was because HUD does not approve the smoke-free policies. They only warn you with your policies that the owner and agents are not to violate a person's civil rights. This is what I found out after my call, however. The smoke-free policy was an addendum. And this particular management company had made the smoke-free policy an addendum to their lease. So what does that tell you? That's what the problem was. That triggered the finding on the MOR. Because remember that all attachments and addendums that are not listed in the 4350.3 handbook have to be approved by HUD. Now you will find these addendums in the 4350 in um, chapter 6-5. It lists all of the ones that HUD approves prior to anything else you have to get approval on. So let's look at them. You have, of course, a 50059. Can you name some others? You have, I hear you, you have the move-in inspection form. You have your pet policy. You have your house rules. You have the living aid addendum if it's applicable to your property. And you have the lead-based paint addendum. Those are the only ones that are listed in the handbook that are already pre-approved by HUD. So let's look at some other things like a smoke-free addendum. It would have to be HUD approved. In chapter 6-4, it tells you that any attachments or addendums that are not listed in the handbook have to be approved by HUD or the contract administrator. Now, Navigate as contract administrator for our four states, we do not approve lease addendums or lease attachments. And it was so ironic that after I received this letter that I went out to do some MORs. And guess what I found out in the field when doing MORs? I found that there are several management companies who want to make their riders, very serious to their residents, so they put them down as attachments or lease addendums. Two or three company had five or six. One company had 16. Let me kind of go over to you what they were. There was one that said attachment for residence insurance. Another said attachment for cost and attorney fees. Still another one was the drug-free housing, but now that we have drug-free housing incorporated into the HUD model lease, you don't have to have a separate attachment or addendum for that. There was also one about a sprinkler system. It made the sprinkler system, if damaged, a part of the lease for the resident to pay or reimburse management for. There were all kind of attachments and agreements. One had to do with sanitary living. It stated that the resident, by signing this attachment, is aware that the property has to be kept in decent, safe, and sanitary housing. It seems like we kind of put that one on the other foot. We put it on the foot of the resident opposed to the foot of management. 
Here's still some other ones. One of them dealt with the Senate bill about, um, again, the sprinkler system. One of them had office hours, rent collection policy, property damage waiver. All of these items were made a part of the HUD model lease by using the word attachment or addendum. Again, all attachments and addendums have to be approved by HUD. Keep that in mind, read your handbook, and let's call them something else. Let's rename those forms. With that being said, I thank you for tuning in today and look forward to seeing you next week when we will talk about something new that's coming down the pipeline from React. Have you heard? Thank you. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.